Warm welcome, this is Markus Termin, Astrologisches Stundenbuch at the 14th of August 2024. This is the situation of the sky right now. Ground basis, as always, Moon in fire sign Sagittarius, Sun in fire sign Leo. This is a trine situation. Things can go the inspirative way. Then we have most important Mercury retrograde on the fixed star of Regulus. This is the question of who's ruling, who's really in charge. Mercury will visit this position a second time and maybe we find out by this. And then most interesting too, Mars and Jupiter are conjuncting today. We have long been waiting for that. They do it in the late afternoon, middle European summertime, and they also have the position upon a fixed star called Riegel. Riegel has the um, ability to strengthen also Mars and Jupiter forces. So this is double Mars, Jupiter, Mars, Jupiter. And this is what is actually going on in, in on the eastern frontier border of Europe. You know, this is what we can watch. And it is also something that makes people coming out of the sign of Gemini, <clears throat> former presidents and things like that, pretty strong. The opposition of the moon is not a bad thing, but it's a thing of tension. And it's a tension is always something that is longing for a solution that is longing for a third way to go because it's an opposition. So this is what is going on in the sky. And if we ask the question of who's ruling, who's in charge, we can give an answer right away. It's you yourself. And this is what the future is going to. We're not going to into the age of collectivism. We're getting out of the age of collectivism. And that means the individual power, the lone single decision of what am I going to do is most important when Mercury passes Regulus. And when he goes retrograde, it might be a time to consider, to rethink, to get things straight that you had in your hands already. Then what Mercury is going to do is he will pretty soon, I guess it's tomorrow, pass into the sign, backwards into the sign of Leo. And he will have the Kazimi position. That means he's not only going to visit Regulus, who is, by the way, in the sign of Virgo and not Leo anymore. And then he's going to go back to the sun and he's going to have an audience with the king. So there's going to be some talking about sovereignty as it is happened, happening right now. Have a look on European censorship and things like that. Um, if you are happy with that, I would like to integrate the fixed stars in my prediction a little bit more because this is most interesting. I just put out this picture for you to see. In the middle circle, in the, in the inner circle, you will find just the same chart as the one that I showed you before. And in the outer circle, you might realize that these little points, this is all about fixed stars, you know. Um, they, what, what are they doing, the fixed stars? They circle around, you know, not within, but within the outer within of the zodiac, you know. The zodiac is the scale, which is inside, and the fixed stars are turning around. Uh, you might you might notice that um, there are um, really big fields. Uh, the, the Virgo field is pretty big. Um, the Pisces field is pretty big. The Cancer field is uh, is is pretty small. You know um, those borderlines in between the the so-called. Um, fixed stars, they are artificial, you know, they actually don't mean nothing at all. Um, what means something are the fixed stars themselves, you know, in the outer circle. And uh, to say it again, there is no siderical zodiac 
Indian astrology concerning to the zodiac is not another opportunity, is not another chance to do it, but it's just wrong. It's wrong. Sorry for you Buddhistic folks out there who are longing for an alternative to Christian astrology. What we are doing actually here, no, that ain't working. Thank you very much for listening. What is working though is the view on your personal chart with old good European tropical astrology. There is no better tool to come into self-acknowledgement and strengthening your own self by knowing who you are. And that's what astrology actually is really about. Also, of course, giving an overview of the chances and the atmospheres that are coming to you over the next month and things like that. Just get in contact by this mail address down here at my blog site. You will find the conditions for a consultation. This is Markus Termin speaking at the 14th of July, 2000, July, 14th of August, 2024.